Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Teams. In this module, I want to have a quick look at the new feature called Breakout Rooms. So Breakout Rooms is here, once you've got a meeting set up. But before I do that, I just want to make sure you have got the right settings. So in Teams, if you click on your icon and go into Settings, you need to have this activated, Turn on New Meeting Experience. And if you haven't got that, what you need to do is go into um, your icon again and go into About. Just check which version you've got and when it was last updated. And if you think you haven't got the most recent one, you need to check for updates. And it will check for updates. And then you need to reboot your computer so the updates can install. And then you will have that feature active there so once you've got that done you can set up a meeting as per normal so I've added four people to my meeting and then you have the organizer of the meeting has these this feature breakout rooms so you can create breakout rooms for example if you're doing a a course with a classroom based course you could create out little rooms for people to go and sit in and discuss a, a particular topic that you've just been talking about. So I'm going to create a couple of breakout rooms. So when you click on the icon, so again, the organizer is the only person that can do this. You can decide how many rooms you want. So I want two rooms and I'm going to do it manually. So I'm clicking on manual and then create rooms. So I've got room one and room two, and what you've got is a set of ellipses at the end there. If I rename this as sales, room one can be the sales room or the sales team. Rename. And then room two I'll rename as marketing. So the marketing team. Marketing. rename so I've renamed the rooms now I can assign people to these rooms at the moment they're closed and when you open the rooms it will pull the people that you've assigned into that room out of this main meeting so let's have a look at doing that now if you get to this stage and it says there you can't assign these people are not available to assign a little exclamation mark you need to definitely update your version of teams that is what that means now if i want to assign these two i click assign and then i select the room so let's say these two are sales i'll click on that one so they're now going into sales and then i'll click on these two assign and they can go into marketing so i've got two people in marketing and two people in sales now at the moment they're still in the main meeting area because i've not opened the rooms but if I if I click on these ellipses again and open the room what that will do is pull out first of all the first two people the sales team into that room from the main meeting it takes a few seconds to do that and while we're waiting for that to do that I will pull the other two I'll open this room as well you see that room is now open so it's pulled out those two into that room and I'll open the second room and it shall pull out those two into the second room. Now, when you go into one of these rooms, you can see the people that are in the meeting, they're discussing, and those people will be able to talk to each other. And that's how you would be able to see that. So now I'm left on my own in the main meeting room, and both of these groups are in their separate meetings discussing whatever they want to discuss. Now, you can, if I click out at the top there, make an announcement over the, all the team meetings, like finish off in a, a few minutes or you've got two minutes to go, and then everybody would know that the meetings are going to close. And if you want, you can actually join the meeting yourself um, or add more rooms, close the rooms there. That's what you do at the end, close all the rooms, or you can close them individually from these ellipses. And you can see there you can join the room. So it's, let's say I want to join uh, the marketing team to see what they're talking about. I click on join and then they should pop up and I should be in the meeting with them. And I can now talk 
with those two guys and at the top there I can click on return to the main meeting so I'm back in the main meeting by myself and waiting for everybody to come back so is it, it's a great tool for people that do training where you can sit and listen to what people are talking about and interject if you need to and then jump jump out of that group and go into a different group and listen to what they're uh, talking about and so on now when everything's finished you can just close the groups. Like I said, you give an announcement that you're going to do that. So you announce that you are going to close the groups in a couple of minutes. And then you, you can close the groups. So if I close room on the marketing, what will happen is that they will come back into the main meeting as that room is closed. And I'll do the same on the sales team as well. So close, close room. So they've been sucked back into the main meeting area and as soon as this one updates and closes, all four people should be back in the main meeting area. And then you can carry on with whatever you were talking about in the first place. Just wait for that to close. And there you go, you see them popping back up. So now we've got all four people in the main meeting. So that's how the breakout rooms works. So the person who is the organiser of the meeting um, either meet now or new meeting either either works but what you do need to be on is on the in terms of teams you need to be on the um, main heading um, sometimes when you're on the channel I'm sure this is going to be updated but the channel feature is not available yet um, if it's available on yours just put a comment underneath and I can have a look at that but basically that's all I want to talk about for this little session that was um, a quick look at the new feature breakout rooms so thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one